citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis, good day. I bring to you the post-cabinet briefing for cabinet meeting held Monday, January 17th, 2011. At the cabinet meeting, ministers considered and approved a number of submissions for concessions on import duty on a range of items for small businesses. These businesses included small manufacturers, service-oriented businesses, information and technology-related businesses, and heavy equipment operations. Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable Denzel Douglas, re-emphasized the government's commitment to fiscal consolidation geared towards achieving improved fiscal stability and sustainability. The minister advised that it was critical for government to continue to meet its obligation to provide essential services and goods for the welfare of our people and the good governance of the country. He further stated that St. Kitts and Nevis must in the future build for itself a stronger fiscal and economic position to continue to secure significant social advancement for our society. In this regard, the streamlining of our tax regime in terms of concessions and the implementation of the value-added tax are decisive elements of our medium to long-term strategy and plan. To that end, the Cabinet agreed that it was important to ensure that all applications for tax concessions fell within the ambit of one of the relevant laws under which such concessions might be obtained. The concessions are awarded to small businesses and are intended to strengthen key sectors of the economy, thereby creating employment, economic growth and wealth for local investors. Cabinet pledges to continue to support all these businesses in this regard. In April of 2009, Cabinet approved a package of concessions for full-service standalone restaurants to be applied to food and wine over the entire period of concession and to be applied to equipment and cutlery on a one-time basis. This policy was implemented during the most difficult patches of the global economic recession when the services industry was at risk of severe decline. Since its implementation, the scheme of support for restaurateurs has been extended. The Cabinet of Ministers granted further extension of the stimulus package to ensure full recovery of the sector and to bolster employment and economic growth. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance reported to the Cabinet that a recovery of the global economy has been projected and that overall growth rates for 2010 and 2011 should be positive, reaching approximately 4.5%. He added that the local economy is also projected to return to modest levels of growth in 2011 and that the extension of the package is vital and will be reviewed in the next six months. This is the end of the post-cabinet briefing for Monday, January 17th, 2011. I thank you.